What is up guys, welcome to the top 32 of the Reddit Yu-Gi-Oh! non-meta tournament. Uh, joining me today as usual is Grand Lamb. What do you think about uh, this tournament so far? <laughs> uh, I think it's been going great. Lots of interesting matches, I guess, I'd say. Yeah, so showing up here is the uh, entry graphic. Uh, this is what we made for round one. Or uh, This graphic is courtesy of YouTuber Barracks Bear. And uh, the, the overall breakdown was um, very machine heavy, as we talked about. Very um, kind of combo heavy. So Orc is the most rep uh, deck, and then you have Unchained, Earth Machine, uh, and then Paleozoic and Cybers variants following, and then a couple other things, and then a whole bunch of like one and two of decks in the other section. Um, so do you remember what our predictions were for like what would do well? Uh, I remember bringing up Unchained. I know Earth Machine and Orcus were two big ones. Yeah, I think you said other and everything else expected to see uh, some success. Yeah, it, I can't remember from the first one. Yeah. But, I mean, top cut wise, I think others showed up here. Yeah, so converting to top 32, I'm going to bring that up now. Uh, so, this is the graphic we have. Uh, so, five Orcist, which is, uh, I believe, half of the players who entered. There were roughly 10 Orcist yeah. players. Um, so, yeah, so half of them converting uh, pretty heavily, which is uh, quite a good performance. I didn't really expect this many to show up because I know that, like, by the last round, there were only like two Orcus players in the top 20. Um, but I think like all the Orcus players on the bubble just like won their rounds or something. <laughs> True. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I didn't think that deck was consistent enough, but Urgent Schedule is a very good card. Yeah, it's interesting. Seeing how there's three yeah. scraps. Yeah, there's like two different versions. So like one is the scrap heavy like combo version and the other one is like really, really trap heavy. Uh, so like Ice Dragons, Torrential Strikes, uh, usually like Foolish Burial Goods. Um, for Girsu. And uh, yeah, I didn't really expect them to be this repped either. Because, um, uh, I mean, in terms of hits, they gained Girsu and they got Galatea back compared to last NMT. Yeah. Purple's um, also good. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Purple Nightfall being like banned or unbanned was a huge argument point before this tournament started. And so I think with Purple, you know, we would have seen a lot more uh, Mech Knight, a lot more Orcus. Um, Super yeah. Poly, I think, is also banned. So. Yeah, I think so. And then they also lost obvious stuff like access code, Zeus, etc. Um, yeah. Yeah, Orca showing up. Uh, Earth Machine also with, I think, an, also a 50% conversion rate. I think they had six players and then half of them topped. Yeah. Uh, Zephyra doing really strong. They had, I think, four players in the whole thing. And so three of them making it to the top cut is pretty impressive as well. So I remember hearing about Zephyr players before the tournament. Don't they all, like, know each other? I'm not positive. Uh, one of them is Musa, who is a pretty strong online player. Uh, you've seen him in high rated. I think he was pretty famous a few months ago as the guy who got like rank one with Zephra on the DP ladder. Um, <laughs> so that's where I know him from. I think we've played in the Zodiac tournament as well. Uh, and yeah, they've been trying to. I'm not sure how many of them know each other or how well, but they've been trying to like uh, kind of hype the deck up. And so okay. yeah, really playing ahead here. Uh, the deck is a uh, really I think just path turbo with generics, which is pretty good. Um, Sounds fun. Yeah, Zephyr Path <laughs> is like a really good floodgate. Uh, against both of these um, more rep decks, Orcus and Earth Machine, uh, Path is also pretty good. Um, I believe. I'm not a Zephyr expert. <laughs> Any then, like cool techs or anything they're on? Uh, I think there are some. Uh, I know Musa is on some pretty interesting techs, but I don't know if I should be revealing them at this point. Um, okay. But yeah, there's some cool stuff. We might see that later in the tournament. Uh, and then for the other less rep decks, there's uh, two Ignisters, two Cyber Dragons, two Endymion, and two Sky Striker. I expected Ignister and Endymion to show up, but the other two are kind of wild cards to me. I think so. Cyber Dragon is in a really interesting place, because at some point we thought this was even a meta call, because uh, the guy who finished second in Swiss was also on Cyber Dragon. And I remember like yeah. his last like four rounds, he was just on machine decks like all in a row. And I was like, wow, this guy's just gonna like win the whole thing because he's like, he just had to pick a really good deck that matched up against like Speedroid and Orcus and, and Earth Machine and all that. So correct me if I'm wrong here, but Cyber Dragon's been like full power for like every MMT so far, right? For a bit. Uh, I think last time we may have hit. No, I don't think Verte's ever been hit actually. Um, no, I, I don't remember Verte being. Yeah, so they've been pretty good for like. A long time um i think before okay. the 10th one there may have been a hit to like emergency or something um but verte into overload is still pretty strong 
So this deck is is solid. Uh, Ignister also for Cybers, uh, the only Cybers deck showing up. All of the like Coat Talker and like the Pile decks kind of also just drowned before we got to Top Gun. Yeah, I I believe there were just there was two people on the pile, and both of them I know. One of them trolled this event, and the other one didn't <laughs> actually know what any of the cards did. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, Ignister. I mean, only two players also entering with Ignister. So if you treat Ignister as like its own deck, then that's a hundred percent conversion, which is pretty solid. Yeah. Oh, that's actually pretty sweet. Yeah, uh, and Demian pretty good. I think uh, this is the first NMT where all the pen guards are on hit. So like I think before Jackal King, and I think maybe Servant were banned, and so now Endymion is full power. Okay. Um, so it's showing up and then sky striker also is full power uh up until now kagari and shizuku i think have been banned like indefinitely but uh they've been released yeah I, I didn't expect sky striker at the top it's i thought not that, that was good i feel actually. like um yeah no mystic mind no third can be only one feels like you're relying a lot on going second with really weak tools yeah but some of these players are also just like if you watch their matches they're just doing well because the deck is like pretty resilient and if you open like playable and your opponent like makes especially if your opponent makes mistakes i've seen a lot of people who like don't know what sky striker cards do which is uh, honestly kind of shocking considering how long it was around but uh really cool to see like a lot of newer players uh in this tournament so that's always nice uh yeah and then there are 13 uh one of decks in this other section um so we've got abc abyss actor uh galaxy mutant which i don't think we ever talked about during swiss yeah, this guy's deck is really funny. <laughs> we have uh, the Resender deck, which we featured in, I think, round four. Uh, Speedroid, which we featured recently. Uh, Subterra Numeron, which we featured. Uh, Sunavalon, which we have not yet featured. Uh, there's one guy on Thunder Dragon. Um, <laughs> so this is like like pure Thunder Dragon. Like All the Chaos cards have been hit, because Chaos Thunder was really good last time. But this guy is on like basically just pure Thunders. Yeah, he tops every like MNT, so yeah, he does pretty consistently. But I didn't think Thunder was a good choice, but he's also just doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of wild. This deck. Yeah, well, I guess I can't spoil it, but it just doesn't seem like it does much. I'm like, I'm gonna be a little upset if he wins, but uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> cool to see, I guess. Uh, Trickstar Wind Witch Burn. We've also featured this, and then Unchained, and then Zodiac. So I think of the decks so... that we haven't talked about, um, I think Abyss Actor, Mutant. So Navalon and Zodiac have not made the features yet. And yeah, I, I want to talk about the Unchained real quick. Sure. So I believe Unchained entered with 10 people and only a single one. Yeah, nine, nine or cut. 10. Um, that is crazy. Is Orcist, and yeah, the deck really flopping uh, into Top Cut. I'm not really sure at why there was some discussion about this. as like why the deck wasn't doing well. Apparently it's because it doesn't have a good Orcus matchup, but I don't know. Yeah. It's weird. And it's like not sure whether it's because of the players or because the deck just isn't that good, frankly. Because Unchained did win an NMT. Um, yeah, before, without yeah, Sarama. Without Sarama, oh, yeah. This is like the ninth NMT, I think. And that it won the whole thing, so. But the question is, is it when that won that MNT, was that meta like harder? Yeah, like how much than... lower was that power level? Because the other deck in the yeah. finals of that one was uh it was Trap Tricks. Okay, um, so it was way lower. <laughs> and Trap Tricks in this one also just completely flopped as well. Um, yeah which is which is which is interesting because you know like people were afraid of sarah sarah and traps um but yeah that yeah, deck, i don't know a couple decks of decks like that are just really so just not showing weak. up yeah no i agree um i think generator is another one that's oh yeah like, generator i expected to see at least one but yeah. that flopped too there was Crazy. one player i think who went x4 like lost in the bubble or something um she was playing Generator with a Condemned Witch or something, and it was pretty neat, but then couldn't clutch it in the end. I'm surprised that uh, Trickster Wind Witch deck is actually playing Generators. Yeah, honest. I mean, he... Uh... Oh, that's not playing Generators? Yeah, he's not playing Generators. Oh, just like a full pile kind of deck? Yeah. I think we had um, one player in the early rounds on some really whack 60-card Generator hy hybrid. I think he was playing Trap Tricks, Wind Witches, and Generators. <laughs> yeah. And some other stuff but but yeah uh anyway uh for today's matchup we have uh one of the decks from the other section we are finally featuring uh sunavalon so i'm very excited to see this deck in action um, yeah i hear a lot of hype about this deck yeah and so uh Tablinario playing uh sunavalon uh against his opponent uh silent epiphany uh also azar on the subreddit discord one of our judges um well, not judges for the NMT, but one of the judges on the server is playing uh, Endymion. So we haven't featured 
pendulum yet, I don't think, at all, right? Uh, no, we have yeah, not. No actually. Abyss Actor features, no anything else. Yeah, so this is going to be an interesting matchup. It is a bit of a combo mirror, but we're going to see if uh, this ends up being a cool replay to watch. So, uh, yeah. So heading into game one, uh, we're going to see some paper, some scissors, and then Tablinario is going to win the uh, dice roll. Uh, playing 48 cards in his plant deck. Uh, so I think you are much more of an expert at this deck than I am. So you will have to tell me if these hands are good or not. Because okay. there's a lot of strange cards in here that I don't really recognize. Uh, Dragon doesn't familiar any, with. Yeah, any hand that can get to the normal monster is good with an extender. So it's normal monster. So this and, like, hand in particular monster. is really good. So like Dragon Net by itself, you're saying? Yeah, Dragon Net by itself. Uh, Zephyros with that is actually insanely more cards i think he plays multiples of this um because a continuous spell is not once per turn right so you can just like yeah it so it. what's really cool is that uh zephros and trick clown i don't know if he plays it but they both inflict damage after they uh special them themselves so one of the cards in this deck has an effect when you take damage got it we'll probably see that uh and then we have two traps i don't think he wants to open these because i think they're both searchable yeah, Blessed Winds is Monster Reborn, I think. Yeah, he uses this, this one the newer the... ones. He uses this with the Aroma Seraphy Synchro Six, which I think has like a pop. Yeah. Or yeah, so it's like... a pop, I think, if you gain yeah, life. Yeah, so if you gain life for then, then it becomes a pop. The Sun Apple and Bloom is like skill drain for or I guess it's like imperm for everything. Yeah, it's if, like a uh, one time skill activity. drain, but the negate is permanent. And then it makes your link four really big if you Yeah, have. really big. Okay, uh, so he did open both of these, but he will have combo. Uh, and then Silent Epiphany over here, um, the Indivian player is going to open uh, Mighty Master, Jackal King, Secrets, and Two Desires. No hand traps. Yeah, so. so I mean, it is a pendulum deck, so I don't think you expect him to play hand traps, but this is a combo mirror, so winning the roll is pretty big for whoever did it. Uh, this hand is pretty solid as a pen player. If you draw into good stuff, you have like four draws off the bat. But, um,. We'll see if it's enough to break the plant board, which I don't think we've spoiled yet, so... <laughs> yeah, goes in here. Random list. <laughs> yeah, this, this is the best way to do RPS, you just get a website to do it for you. So Okay, so this is Loki. This is gonna make normal. the only one. So, this adds a Sunvine spell trap, and then if you take battle or effect damage, you gain that many life points, and then you summon a Sunvine from your extra deck. Actually, yeah, you get another plant body. Okay. And what's important is where you put the Draco net, so. Got it. Just gonna Sunvine here. This is uh, Pitches to Zephyros. And then you're plant locked. And then this is a Miracle Fertilizer. Yeah, it's like selling a Great Will, basically. Okay, and then there's some end phase recursion effect, which may not be relevant. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, it brings back the, uh, the Loci. And then Zephyros is gonna bounce the Shrine. He's gonna take 400 here. Yep. 400. This yeah. is going to trigger the link one summon. This is a pretty cool interaction. I like that a lot. We're going to see Jasmine here, probably. Yeah, so it goes into the healer. Uh, is this just free life points and like a plant monster? Yeah, I don't think it's a Sunavalon like, monster yet. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so he's going to just gain back a little bit of life. Alright, oh, sorry. I guess the link one is the Sunavalon. Weird. Yeah. Jasmine. It's for Jasmine, so this is gonna get Lone Fire probably. Yeah, cycles your total Lone Fire. Goes to fed the third, and then uses Avarice. Kind of Avarice, okay. How did the Bossman's go to Graveyard? I speed ran it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Avarice is interesting in this deck. I feel like it's a little win more, but the plant players obviously know a lot more about this deck than I do. Yeah, I guess they can't use Prosperity or Extrav, so it definitely can't play Desires. Desires. Yeah. Uh, maybe you just don't play Avarice and you play not 48 cards, but... Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, Rose Girl is an extender from hand, and then it adds itself yeah. back in Grave. But you this can't is a new one. This is a tuner, which is pretty important. Mm -hmm. So this is how he makes the Aroma Seraphy link, I'm assuming. Yeah, well, it's either this or the level 1 Aroma. Got it. So it goes through yeah. 2 Lone Fire, not 3. And then summons Mardell, which you usually only see in Generator. Uh, so this is the plant rota. Okay. Yeah, plants are super generic. 
as Paramage, this deck is playing weirder and weirder cards by the second. So if your life points, oh, so this is why he had to play healer because now he has yeah. three. Okay. Everything just like meshes together so well. Got it. Does the link one you gain back exactly the life points you lost? No, it's uh, it's three hundred times the uh, rank or level or link rating. Sorry. Okay. So if he went trick clown, it actually wouldn't work because he wouldn't have enough life points for this play. Yeah, it would specifically have to be Zephyrus. That's really cool. Okay, so what is this? This is an extender, and then if it's sent to the graveyard, you gain 500. Okay. So summons Laurel and then links both into Jasmine. Second yeah, effect. Jasmine is not once returned, so you're going to get two searches. Oh, the search effect. Oh! Okay, so he's going to Jasmine and he's going to trigger both. Oh, okay, okay, so he's going to use the Aramage Laurel and then get two searches. That's broken. Yeah, as you run for round one, Jasmine, or all our Aramages are once returned. heading such but, uh, weird. Oh my god. Okay, so Snowdrop, <laughs> the Rika Fairy, and World Carrotway Champion. Uh, so this is an extender. Um, yeah. I mean, all these blank cards are just extenders, it seems. Uh, yeah, that Rika one's really cool. You tribute a plant and then you bring it and another plant. Uh, and then it's level modulation. Okay. Goes both Jasmine into the Link Four. Big one, yeah. So this normally gets Bloom. Uh, and now Bloom is live because he has a Link Four. And then it can't be destroyed by card effects and can't be attacked. Uh, and then you can also tribute a Link Monster and then you pop cards non targeting. Ooh. Yeah, it's like Air Slicer, but you just tribute it. But non targeting, yeah. Yeah, it just makes the trap live, I think, is the biggest reason. So, activate shrine again. Uh, I guess to pitch the carrot weight here. And then uses carrot to pitch Rose Girl. Special carrot? Okay. okay. Oh, he's using carrot. Yeah, yeah. he pitches the carrot. To, so, he's not using shrine yet. I'm about um, to see. Okay, so this is cool here. Strena. So, if this is tributed, you summon a Big Xyz. And you can detach and you can recur plant cards. Yeah, that's really cool. There's so, so much advantage circulating in this deck. That's back a lung fire. And then this is going to get tributed, probably. Okay, yep. so it tributes the vanilla for Snowdrop. And then, oh, that brings out the lung fire just added back. This deck is so cool, yeah. man. Lone fire <laughs> can tribute the uh, XYZ here. Yo, okay. <laughs> so he gets Rose Girl and then the Xyz triggers and he summons. Hyper period, yep. dude. Okay, I'm just fangirling over this deck. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. I think I was threatened if I didn't feature this deck <laughs> at least once before the tournament ended, and so I'm glad we're getting a chance to do that now. Yeah, I'm uh, glad to be top 32. Yeah, yeah, it's a really, really cool deck. Um, so when an opponent, so when the opponent activates a card or effect, or when a card or effect is activated during the opponent's turn, you detach the material of the same type, and then it negates the activation. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then he synchros these two into Margarine. Yep, already has it. Right, so, so he, he would have added Blast Winds off this, and then this becomes the pop on the opponent's turn. So this it is also already... makes it so all your guys are can't be targeted with too. Yeah. Okay, that's decent. I don't think Pend really has anything that targets aside from I'm thinking of I think it's Master the level Serve seven one. Uh, Master Serve is eight, I believe. The one that uh, bounces too. Oh, Reflection? Yeah, so those two. Yeah. And I, I don't even remember if Master Serve targets. I'm pretty sure it does. Um, uh, Master Serve, I'm pretty sure it doesn't target, actually. Okay, I don't play Pendulum, so I will take your word for it. You're not uh, wrong. And I think Daybreaker, the Link, also targets. Yeah, Daybreaker also, yeah, that's a good okay, one. Okay, so we'll see. Okay, and then he okay. hasn't activated Trine yet, and this will actually trigger Hyperidon, because this works on effect activations. So he can attach the Avarice in the graveyard. Out of Avarice, cool. So now he can negate a scale. That's actually really big. Uh, he has a negate for the Desires as well. So we're going to see a rank 8 here. Yep, okay, Rika. and then the Rika makes the Loci rank 8. Whoops, fast forwarded there. Teardrop I'm not too much of a fan of this all being under his uh, arrows, but I guess it's fine. Yeah, it will buff the guy to make him bigger with the Bloom Trap because it sums up all these attacks, but maybe you want the free zone to uh, do something next turn. Yeah, I'm I think, uh, if I recall correctly, they have a link that like becomes 4k or something. 
Yeah, Thrasher, I think it's called. Yeah, so like it like targets your like your Link Four, and then it becomes Four K, and then you just do massive damage with it. Yeah. Um. So maybe feeling like he just doesn't need it. And just this one this. doesn't have the summon effect though, right? Like the others. This so... one. No, the uh, Link here. Uh, this is typically what has Bloom. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, all the other ones have an effect where if you take damage, you summon one from extra oh, okay. deck. Okay. So... No, this doesn't seem to do that. Um, but yeah, it has a Draconet in hand. So this is... Okay, so... Or interruption? This is a skill drain, more or less. It's like a one-time skill drain for the field. Uh, this is a pop with Marjoram. This is a negate. This is a quick effect tribute. So, Pretty good. Yeah, four disrupts. All your monsters are huge. Uh, they can't be targeted. Pretty, pretty good. <laughs> uh, Rose Girl comes was... back. Oh, because he didn't have to use this. Okay. Yeah. That's he has follow-up cool. for days, too. Nice. This deck is really impressing me. It says God. I agree with that. <laughs> uh, leaves with Mastery. Allows it. Adds Citadel. Citadel. Okay. And activates Citadel. And goes Secrets here. For Blue Boy. Uh, I think everyone a lot more familiar with the Pendulum deck than with the Plant deck, so I'm going to go a little faster <laughs> on the Pendulum player's turn. Uh... Okay. So we're gonna go Desires here. Uh, he will negate this with the the Hyperidon. Uh, definitely negates negate activation. Negate. So yeah, he can use his second Desires here if he wants, and he does so. <laughs> He's gonna fast forward through this. Draws another Jackal, which is not great, and a Magister. So needs a low scale. Yeah, knowledge will be met by yeah that. Oh, that's really good. You can just tribute the Blue Boy. And then that resolves that effect. He can pen summon two, I guess. It's yeah, not too so bad. He goes Magister and Jackal King. Pens two from hand. This is a eight, this is a four. Yeah, that works. What does the level three skill guy do? It yeah, summons from extra. Okay. Uh, itself and a guy from extra. And I think regardless of the desires banishes, this is really rough for him. Because uh, you can't Jackal summon itself either, and so there's just like. Your ceiling for this turn is so low. Yeah, maybe there was a play he could do with Endymion here. I don't know. It's to so get weird. six counters. Uh, yeah, I don't know if he could do it. Yeah, but... I think it also always gets popped by the Marjoram. Like if he ever oh, yeah, threatens, because right, right. he just goes blessed and wins Marjoram. He still hasn't used Bloom this turn either. Um, yeah, he can negate this. We're gonna use Winds here, just activating it. Uh, this bounces a card this Pokemon into the hand and negates the activation. Okay. Yeah, he must know about the skill trade, so... So, just activates Blessed Winds. Okay, so still making sure that this is working. Okay, so he just activates Blessed Winds and then he allows the attack through. So, Hyperidon dies. This is weird timing, I don't know why you would activate this now. Yeah. And then the Marjoram's gonna die from the Jackal. Um Is he just gonna summon it back? Yeah, he always he always has Bloom for the Endy, so I don't think this matters. So he goes Endy here, this is gonna be about to buy the Bloom, which shuts it down, and then the Marjoram comes back. Uh, his life points are lower here, but that shouldn't be a huge issue. So we're gonna bless wins again. Someone's back, Jasmine. Jeez. Yeah, it's All right. so crazy. Oh, and then he tributes the link, and he can just pop two non Pop two? Here. Yep. So it pops both scales. Pitches the Rose Lover for a carrot weight. Has back the Rose Girl. Sorry, not Rose Lover. Um, um, and then that's definitely this game. Look like game. Well, the trap is crazy. Oh, yeah, true, true. The trap is going to be Okay, yeah, that's going to be game one. Going to Sunavalon. Yeah, a really cool showcase from the plant player. Um, getting to go like full combo despite opening, I think, two of his garnets. Uh, and the cards work together in a really cool way, and we'll see if he can continue to do that this match. Uh, Great but, trick clown this time. Yeah, so Tub's hand in game two is going to be Dark Ruler, uh, Rose Girl, Trick Clown. So he does run this uh, Ash Blossom and a Shrine. So I don't think this is the greatest. <laughs> he doesn't have a way into his vanilla, which. Uh, I think is the combo. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm not seeing 
Anything yeah. here? And then uh, Epiphany's hand is going to be Institution, Desires, uh, Mighty Master, Master Stirb, and another Desires. So two Desires again. Uh, the Master Stirb might be met with the Ash, and then Pen sometimes has problems like working with the Four Scale. Uh, oh, Stirb does target. I'm trolling. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it doesn't? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm trolling. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll see if the uh, if like comes up though, because like the targeting protection in game one like didn't matter. Oh, uh, getting ash. So yeah, so ash is, what does this do again? Okay, spell counters. Okay, that's pretty strong then. The ash here. Yeah. Yeah. So desires goes through. Uh, draws. Not really two, good draws. Secrets and citadel. Uh, activate citadel. Activate secrets. Goes for blue boy. And blue boy. So he didn't banish his oh, spellbox, which is good. And so hope he gets scales off here. this. So. Reflection is a low skill, I think. So that's, so that's not a four. That good. This is an eight. Not pretty. Looks like <laughs> reflection fast. Okay. Is it? Okay. Uh, that's not good. But I mean, Tub's hand is not playable either. So. Yeah, I think reflection. Just. Okay, it's Rota. Yeah, it's yeah, only it's when it's cool. special summon, so this doesn't do anything on the field yet. Oh, and I still have a spell counter, never mind. Yeah. This goes vanilla. Cool. Does Citadel gain counters for. Yeah, it does. Okay, so if Tub plays spells, then that'll gain counters. So it goes for Dryas. Activate Shrine. Does this. Uh... Oh, cool. He actually does have. Combo. Oh, this is. Yeah, this is a I should have thought about that. Okay. Yeah, so he hard opened them, so I guess that makes sense. Yeah goes for healer here and then this actually does yeah. gain the life yeah i was wrong about that too last game okay sorry. so he's gonna feel two plants here and then a trek clown so we'll see what jasmine into lone fire gets him i think it's pretty cool that like dryas plus healer gets you perfectly back to like just above your opponent <laughs> <laughs> so you're like your cards are alive so it goes lone fire into mardell uh, he had a back rose girl, just now, right? So, yes. Yeah, he did. Okay. And then you must see laurels. Okay, so this doesn't need a normal. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, it's only to add something. Okay, so he may just laurel here and then jasmine. This is still two adds. This is yeah, two searches. Kind of crazy. So I'm dropping something else. Yeah, but will this be okay. the same board as last time? Uninterrupted, so maybe. Because he had to start kind of weird. And yeah, I don't know time... if this is like a kill shot. Yeah, because last it's time he weird. had the Zephyros for the shrine, so that was two extenders, right? Because Yeah, he has no vanilla, though. That's the major thing. Yeah, here. there's no vanilla, and then the Zephyros was also rank four fodder, so he went for a different route here. So what is Angelica? We saw this in the Arrow Mage feature way back in round one. Uh, this deck very different from Arrow Mage. Uh, so this is a quick effect life point gain. So I guess this is double road on the opponent's turn if he leaves this up. And then you can... Right, you can keep going something. here though. Right, yeah, you can extend. Mm -hmm. So yeah, kind of Jasmine gain 800. Summon it back. This is confusing, he says. So it goes for the link four. Is it going to grab Bloom? Yeah. He's going for game here, I'm assuming. Or maybe this is just the best he thinks he can do. Really? Because I don't know. This is uh, a teardrop plus the rank or link four. Oh, another. another. Okay. I think he's gonna try to pop the scales. Oh. Because was this? It? I guess he could have made the rank eight, but does that do anything? It's the interruption. He doesn't have jackal, so. Yeah. Or he could have gone um, snowdrop targeting rose girl, make both level three, and then made a. Marjoram, right? Yeah, the uh, Marjoram, yeah. Into the uh, the trap. I think that might have been an option. Because then you can, like, also start popping scales as well. But maybe it feels better just eliminating... Yeah, it gets rid of Institution and... I don't Marjoram. know if I agree with that, because now all service is live. That's a hard one. That's a fair point. No, yeah, that's a really fair point, because I forgot that this doesn't work if you have another card in your pen zone. Now he can't clear these but, reflection. Well, he was also maybe afraid of, like, if this summons itself and it removes the counters from, like, the field and everything, 
Because this will have like six counters by next turn, right? Yeah. So you can sure. summon the enemy from scale, and then scale is vacated anyway. I mean, was there not just a better play here to, uh... I, th I think I like the Synchro play better. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I guess no point dwelling on it. I'm gonna pass. You just said everything, okay. Yeah, so he has Bloom, at least. Fucking staying on board. Let's see if instant, say, fusion. Oh, instant fusion. Jeez. I don't think that does much for him here. Maybe Thousand Eyes? If he plays it, yeah. Only the Bloom is Interruption. So a thousand eyes would be pretty big. Yeah, this goes Master Serb for Jackal, and this is gonna Jackal out Master Serb. Uh, Instant Fusion. Oh, okay. Yeah, it goes for Millennium Eyes, so there's no thousand eyes here. Although if he plays Anima, he could have summoned this to like the extra Muster Zone, and then made Anima, and like sucked this up, and then made the Spellbook Link or like Daybreaker or something. Very true. Uh, yeah, if maybe he should have forced think... out the. Yeah. Trap card first before we did this. I think Anima was better here. Because it forces yeah. the trap. So I would have liked to see that. Uh, this is targetable, right? By effects? Yeah, okay. it just can't be destroyed. You can still attack directly, too. So, so Serb will out this. Desires. Okay, he's really low. Yeah, five cards in deck. I was into the void and Magister. Fourth Desires this match. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Stop drawing cards. <laughs> Just into the void and the upstart. Uh, upstarts. Oh, this is not drawing enemy. again. <laughs> uh, mastery would be good if he still has a card for it. Uh, so this has got to count. Scales the Magister. If it activates Mastery, it does have that target. Does not have a target, never mind. You can't do math. Uh, miscounted as Endymions, I guess. Um, okay. I think you just master serve. Yeah, like I don't know why you would wait on this. He knows he has the trap card at hand. He does. Right? Yeah, he so, saw him search it. Yeah. So you and these are all gonna lose their counters once the trap card gets flipped. So. Yeah, I think you just do this ASAP and then you link the daybreaker and then you can use the daybreaker to pop the other back row. Very strange. Scales the master serve, and then. Goes up to a bunch of scales here. They're not using the uh, huh. field spell effect to change anything, so. Hmm. I don't understand why he bloomed here. Because he didn't activate Master Serb. Yeah, he didn't use anything. That was, yeah, that was just on resolution of. of a. Yeah, it was just a resolution of something getting countered. So, and I think this is just game, actually. Very strange. Yeah, if he just because Magister attacks. summons Endymion and it's just dead. Well, he hasn't pen summoned yet, right? Yeah, he hasn't. Yeah, so he just pens everything and then yeah. he dies. <laughs> I think. Very strange bloom timing. Uh, so pens, Mighty Master, and Reflection. Not gonna use. Oh, he isn't gonna use Reflection. Okay. Uh, he has to activate it. I think. So. This is mandatory. Uh, the link. I mean. Oh, and this mouse is oh, yeah. back row. That's really cool. Okay. Oh, the spell counter thing is mandatory, yeah. But this is negated, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, he's just gonna do it, okay. So we're gonna apply Citadel to Magister. Make Selene, this is gonna gain a whole ton of counters. I gained 12 counters so fast. Oh, yeah, that's just the game. Uh, I okay, think I fast-forwarded well. through that a bit, but that was just game. The last set was a Dark Ruler. <laughs> uh, and I remember this judge call. Uh, I was thinking that he took counters off of Citadel um, because of Citadel's effect, which is once per turn, substitution, but he was uh, using Master Serve. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know about that, uh, the turn from Tub there. I think yeah, it's I think a Tub's turn play. Yeah, it just could have been way better, I think. Maybe, know. maybe my theory is that he forgot that uh, the master serve like wasn't live. True. Um, yeah. Or he knew that and he was afraid of the endymion like summoning itself from the scale, and then the serve would be live anyway. So, yeah, I don't know because I think the pop two. I like I think trying to clear the scales is a reasonable strategy, but I think he had too many cards he had to clear there. So yeah, rough one.
and they begin like showing us power. Uh, really, like both players opening pretty poorly, but able to like break through the uh, the bloom and just OTK in turn three. Going into the third game here, uh, our Endymion player says WTF that worked. Uh, I agree with that. <laughs> I think potentially stealing the game a bit. Uh, double desires into three cards left in deck into OTK is a little spooky. Oh, this is full combo. Yeah, okay. so the hand from Tub is ridiculous um, because it is just all gas and no backup whatsoever. <laughs> so I think if he gets like hand trapped, he just dies. Um, but Pendulum not really known for playing hand traps. So the hand from Tub is Drake Minnet, Zephyros, Snowdrops, Boar, and Rescue Rabbit. Um, so two choices of like what to go for. Uh, are these the same in terms of like extenders? I imagine Rabbit is um... probably better. Yeah, Rabbit gets you another plant body, so I don't know. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think Ravage is better. Right. Uh, and then Epiphany's hand is Spell Power Mastery, Jackal, Institution, Jackal, and Cerberus. So this is a pure Mythical Beast hand. Um, <laughs> Institution may be able to put in work here, but we will see how this goes. So starting off with Rabbit and goes for two Vanillas. I'm going to go through this combo a lot faster than I did in game one, because we've pretty much already seen the plant deck go off. Search for this. So I'll fast forward a bit. It's going to go Dryas, pitching the Zephy again. And then the Zephy is going to trigger the Dryas. Healer puts him at 83, and then goes Jasmine into two Lone Fires into Mardell again. So he only goes through two of these instead of three. Uh, I imagine he searches the third in some hands instead of adding it back to the graveyard. And then goes Laurel and the Mardell yeah, into a again. second Jasmine. Sorry, what was that? Jasmine again, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay. And then gets Carrot Weight and Lone Fire. Yeah, so it gets the third Lone Fire off the Jasmine searches. Yeah, this search not being once per turn is also ridiculous. Yeah, he's using Lone Fire to attribute the XYZ, I think. Mm -hmm. So it goes for uh, the Link 4. This is, I think, the intended way the deck is supposed to get the traps. And then pitches. Okay, so he pitches uh, carrot weight for the shrine. Carrot spell. And, and then, then carrot tributes. Yeah, spore. Yeah, spore for carrot weight. Oh, this is Reflasia. Oh, okay, it's Strano, yeah. Okay. Oh, does this deck play Reflasia? I think so. It's a plant monster, so. Mm. I don't know if he's playing it. I think so. Uh, I don't know if, like, I think you have to open Super Cracked to, like, add Reflasia to your end board. Uh, it's nice that it like gives you protection against stuff though. If you play like Grape Diggers, yeah. so goes into Strena and then gonna tribute this with the Lone Fire probably. So as back Loci, tributes the other Loci for uh, Snowdrop and then that brings out the Lone Fire he searched. Lone Fire tribute yeah. Strena. So yep. Still a really cool interaction. Gets the Rose Girl. Strena's gonna go for Hyperidon. And then does he have a spell to attach? He does not. No. Maybe that's why he plays Avarice. <laughs> that could be. Yeah, yeah. Or like one reason he plays Avarice is to get this There's no good spell. Hmm, <laughs> maybe. So this is going to be Marjoram. So yeah, so both these traps are just searchable. He's still a Spore. Oh, that's neat. Snowdrop's going to oh, make them both level 8. Triggers that Paradin. Hold on. Oh, I think oh, I misplayed okay, here. Going to reorder it. His opponent being cool with it. So attaches the Laurel and then goes for uh, Teardrop. So just not using Spore. Oh, this is really smart. He attached the uh, level 1 Arrow Mage so that when it's the graveyard, he's gonna uh, gain 500, which will trigger. That's neat. So you can trigger Marjoram Pop and then you can also still use uh, Blessed Winds to revive. Blessed Winds, yeah. That's pretty neat. Okay, so this is the same board from turn 1. No reflection. Okay. Uh, and the hand from Pend, uh, not fantastic, but it depends on what gets disrupted here. So this one summons from hand. Yeah, and then when it hits the field, it becomes a bounce, but the bounce is targeting, so that's going to be relevant. So, is anything in this deck hit for MNT? For uh, Pendulum? Yes. I'm pretty sure the deck is completely full power. Oh, even Servant. Uh, Serpent's legal. Magician Souls is newly legal for this one. Um, okay. All of the Mythical Beast cards are legal. There was a time when Jackal King was banned, 
Um, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, but <laughs> Pendulum is just like completely faded from the metagame, and so this deck is just totally full power. Three Selene. Uh, I guess like the loss of a Link 4 is considered maybe a nerf, but that's a nerf to every deck, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so full power Andy pretty much. So this is going to be the third counter on Reflection. He's going to use it now. Nothing stopping this, okay. Yeah. So summons out Jackal and Reflection. And then going to attempt to trigger Reflection, but he can't target anything. Can't target, so, so he has to target a back probably row. one the back row? No effect. Oh. I okay. don't agree with that. Yeah, I definitely don't agree with that. No, there's just no reason to use no effect here. Well, hmm. He doesn't no, yeah. lose board presence, but like... I think he still has to stop one of the two back row. Uh, yeah, I get I get the thought process, I guess, because you have to hit Bloom if you're yeah. going to use this. And if you don't hit Bloom, then he you just lose a all monster, your, right? Yeah, all your counters are gone. I don't know. It's and then so... you can't pen summon this again either, because this is only summonable once per turn. But he's going to lift this off anyway. I don't know. Go Master Serp here. Oh, wait. Doesn't this trigger the spell card to gain two counters? Uh, if a thing is destroyed, yeah. Yeah, okay, so... That's pretty good. So we're gonna blast winds and Oh, he's popping the spell, murder. okay. Okay. Okay, okay, so this gains two counters because he's killed Master Serb. And then, on resolution, he's gonna try to blast winds and then Marjoram and pop. And the Jackal's pen player is game. going to try to jackal the margarine. Okay. Uh, and then Bloom chained here. So this is both traps forced out now. So, yeah, we're going to see the spell get destroyed here. Right. Master Serp's still able to just pop off. So we got two more interruptions to go through. Oh, is he out of... Ooh, he oh, he only no. plays the jackal. Oh, that's That's really bad. Jack Almighty on hand, yeah. Maybe... Oh, he can't summon a reflection anymore, so... Okay. Yeah, he can go for a link and then pen both uh, jackals, but... Lack of spells here is really rough. He's gonna Just have Herodin, I think. So, two jackals pass? Yeah, gonna try to put up what resistance he can with two jackals. I think the lack of spells really hurt him in this one. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. Because if you had gone for... Um... The spellbook link, your knowledge play still just dies to like teardrop, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I think just the, I think the board is a little too strong in this case. He really needed to see dark roller or something uh, in this game. This is gonna be able to jackal king over the margarin, but he's gonna have to pass it. into a jackal and then the teardrop in the end phase. He's gonna get rid of one of them. Uh, I think this is the end of the game. Yeah. Okay. Trip the other goes to attack mode. Uh, right Wait, into what? battle. This is 26 oh, he's the, it the back trap boosts it to like 5400 or something. Yeah, that's, yeah, I keep forgetting it does that. That's 10,000 damage. Gonna twin just to show that he has it. A little flex thing <laughs> going <laughs> on. Yeah, that is a uh, Sunavalon plant link uh, taking the game against Pendulum. Uh, yeah, what did you think about that? <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty cool. It's like Earth Machine, but plants. Yeah, a lot more explosive than Earth Machine too, but uh, definitely a lot, a lot more fragile. Because if he had gotten hand trapped this turn one, I think he passes on literally nothing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the matchup is uh, you need some luck to win these tournaments, and uh, getting paired against a deck with that pretty much doesn't play hand traps, and then also winning the die roll on top of that is a great way to start. Uh, yeah, so this is one of the uh, Endymion players out of the tournament. There is another one in top 32. Uh, we will see how they do as Top Cut progresses. But yeah, so Navalon going to progress to top 16. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, any closing words before we move on? Uh, congratulations to Silent FD for uh, his top 32 run. Oh yeah, I agreed with that. Congratulations to everyone who, uh, who qualified. Shoutouts to World Carrot Way Champion for existing. <laughs> this, is, this deck is so weird. Uh, I hope to see more of it. And yeah, if you want to see more of it, uh, like and subscribe. Just stay tuned with the channel. I don't know if we're going to stick to one upload per three days for Top Cut because the matches like aren't timed. 
So they're kind of just played as people are able to schedule them. Um, but the tournament should be finished within like a few weeks, and so we'll, we should have every match through to, uh, through the finals uploaded within the next few weeks or so. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um, that is all from us. Peace.